Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a Friday bonus video. We're doing another haul and I'm so excited because I recently discovered Misguided and I did a haul not that long ago and you guys really liked it. I think one of the reasons that I love it is it's one of the more affordable clothing brands that I've been able to find lately that has really cute dresses specifically and other things as well. So because of that, we're back with another one and I am getting to work with Misguided on this video. Everything that I try on in this haul will be linked down below and those links do help to support my channel. So it's a win-win. If you like any of these things, that's the best way to find them and I appreciate your support and I cannot wait to show you what I got. I found, I think, my dream dress. <laughs> I'm so excited to try it on. I hope it fits what I have in my head. Oh, and I'm wearing my favorite dress from our last haul together. And I also have pajamas, loungewear. I found a really cool like blazer. I have some sets and then a lot of dresses yet again. So without further ado, let's get into it. I, the other day, was trying to find an oversized white collared shirt and I realized all of my white collared shirts are like normal size, not long line. So I was super excited to find this one because I feel like it's so fun to throw over things for summer, very lightweight. Really excited to see how it fits. So let's pair this with some light wash jeans and create a little summer moment. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was going for. Doesn't this feel like sophisticated summer? That you can still have on long pants, wear this to a beach with some nice sandals that you kick off and hold in your hand and go walk along the water line. I love this. It's very lightweight. You can see how sheer it is and it's exactly the vibe I was going for. And then it's long line too. So you could wear it down over leggings or anything like that. I, I really... I really like this one. I'm glad I finally found the shirt I was hoping for. <laughs> one more white top. I love baby doll tops and ruffles and I think this is so sweet. It has little ruffle sleeves and a little baby doll ruffle along the waistline. This is just like a flowy, flouncy, fun summery top and I can't wait to see what it looks like on. Okay, this is so fun and flouncy and it feels like young and free. I love this kind of like crinkle material. I think it's just really fun as well and adds to the flounce of this. <laughs> I think it works since it is kind of cropped so you can still see a little bit of your silhouette underneath. It's just playful. I really like this. I don't have anything with this line. Yet again, more white for summer makes me feel tan, which is really nice. <laughs> Do you know what is so critical <laughs> for warm weather is cute, good undershirts. And I loved this color. Okay, funny, quick mini story. Burnt orange was my favorite color to wear. Then I went to UT Austin. People outside of Texas call it just University of Texas, I think, but UT Austin. And the school color is burnt orange. And I was like, oh no, I can't wear burnt orange anymore because I'll look like the kid that loves their school too much. <laughs> And now I don't go there, so I can wear burnt orange again. And I just think this is so cute, cropped. It's a very soft cotton, so perfect to wear with anything high rise. Let's try it on. My color is back. Okay, this is actually so flattering and so soft and cute. Did not realize it's racer back. I'm just wearing a normal bra with it right now, but I feel like, you know those racer back like lace bralettes would be so cute with this. And that layered with this and some fun jewelry could totally be a full look of its own for summer. I normally get tank tops like this with the intention of wearing something over it, like an unbuttoned button up shirt or whatever, but I feel like this is very versatile. And it hits at a really flattering spot with the high-waisted jeans. So I'm really excited about this. The price point is great. Might have to get this in a couple more colors. On to dresses. Can I show you my dream dress? Is it bad to start off dresses with the one I have the highest hopes for? It's like a peachy nude gingham dress with a sweetheart neck just like this and poof sleeves just like this but it is like a midi to maxi length. And oh my gosh, it is everything I want in a dress. If you guys follow my storefront at all, I have like a little boutique of home goods. And every time I shoot, I try to find like the perfect dress to shoot in. And I think for our third launch, it might have to be this dress if it fits. So let's see, <laughs> let's see how it fits. Here's the dress. I wanna know your thoughts. 
The sleeves are pretty poofy, but the length of this is absolutely perfect, and I love the fabric color. The back is also adorable. I want to know your guys' thoughts. You can be honest with me. I'll show you the full length. I do. I love, love the length. Here's the full length. The bodice is almost like a corset bodice. The lines, I don't know if you can see the little seams here and here and here, which is really fun and feels kind of like, like 1800s in a cool way. <laughs> but let me know. I think it's really fun for like a shoot or something. Now let's try the most outside of my comfort zone. I always try to challenge myself a little bit with these hauls to like pick some things that I normally wouldn't go for based off of the silhouette or whatever, what I typically wear. And this is one of those smocked silhouettes throughout like the whole body of the dress, except for the little top is ruched and it has these like almost balloon sleeves. I typically like to wear things that highlight my waist and then kind of go over my hips. Um, so this is very different from what I normally gravitate to. So I thought it would be fun just to, just to try it. Why not, right? Let's try it. For being my wild card, I actually don't dislike it. I think it's really fun and it's definitely not what I was expecting. Like it's much more flattering than I was expecting and it might be something fun to kind of like switch up what I normally wear. I'll show you the full length and the near, but it does go beyond my fingertips, which is always a test that I do for myself to know if I'll be comfortable in it throughout the day. So it passes there, check for that. <laughs> Here is the full thing in the mirror. Thoughts, thoughts. I think it's fun that it has long sleeves with a mini skirt because it definitely makes it feel very balanced as an overall look. So let me know in the comments, is it out of my comfort zone for a reason or should I stretch the normal silhouettes I go for and start wearing things more like this? Okay, I thought this one was so fun. It has a similar silhouette to the gingham one to where it has this neckline and then long sleeve, kind of balloon sleeves and a midi length. But I thought that this color, this black background with almost like a floral print on it would be really good to go through the seasons. Like I could totally picture this and fall in winter very easily and fall with like a hat and boots at a pumpkin patch. Very cliche, I know, but that's like where my brain goes. So I thought that this would be very practical to have throughout the seasons, but it's also lightweight enough to be a summer dress too. So let's see. I am shocked because this is by far my favorite thing I've tried on. And this is one that I was like, oh, it's cute, I like it. But I wasn't like, this is gonna be my favorite. It is so flattering and comfortable and lightweight. I'm in love. <laughs> I have to show you the full body. Here's what the full thing looks like in the mirror. Oh my gosh, this would be so cute with heels, with boots. Dress up, dress down. You could honestly even wear this with sneakers and like, wear it throughout the day. I really think it's quite versatile and I really, really like it. Okay, I got a simple black dress and a simple white dress to try on. I love the lines of this black dress. So let's try this one on first. It has a very, very flouncy skirt, but it really looks like it accents the waist well and has a collar. It almost has preppy, school uniform vibes as far as the lines of it go, but I think it's gonna be really flattering and cute. So, let's see. Okay, I love this, and do you know what it reminds me of? The whole like athletic dress trend that's going around except for with a collar and, and cap sleeves, but it even has a little bit of a stretchy material, but it just fits so flattering. Black dresses are just universally flattering. And funny little story, my first job in LA, I worked as a hostess at a historic hotel called the Culver Hotel. There was like a restaurant lounge in the lobby and we had to wear our own black dresses. And like thinking back to that phase of life, I wish I had this dress because this would be the perfect dress for that job. <laughs> Here's what it looks like, the line of it. Yet again, a great length for being a mini dress. I really like that about a lot of misguided mini dresses. Like I feel very, very comfortable in them. And I think that this would be so cute with those white high top Converse. I don't own any, but I might have to get some to wear with this. It's so flattering, I can't get over it. 
And then this one is similar, but different. The material feels a little more, I don't wanna say denim -y, but like starting to lean towards that direction. Yet again, balloon sleeves. I thought it was so fun. The buttons are little pearls and then a very flouncy skirt again too. For some reason, this one, the skirt at least, gives me kind of like tennis <laughs> vibes. Not that anyone would play tennis in a skirt with pearl buttons, but you know, same realm. Okay. Same vibe, except for with the little poofy sleeves. This is so fun. Yet again, very flouncy and flirty and summery. I have so many cute mini dresses now that I actually feel comfortable in. What a concept. <laughs> Here's a look at the full body. Um, I come from a tennis family, so this is the closest that they'll ever get to seeing me do something tennis related. I'll go watch them in this cute dress and be on theme. <laughs> and one more gingham dress, except for instead of a midi length, we have a mini length. I don't know what this material is, but it's very, very like silky, soft, smooth. I love it. And then this like mint green, oh, it has a retro feel that I really like, kind of a picnic feel. And I just think yet again, very flattering, doesn't look too short for a mini dress, which is what I look for, so. Let's see. I am also so surprised at how much I love this. This was another one that I was like, this is gonna be cute and fun. I did not think this is gonna be one of my new favorite go-to dresses and alas, here we are. It's just so sweet. Like really makes you wanna do all the sweet things. Go pick tulips. I don't know, is that a thing? Go pick apples, that's a thing. Go on a picnic. Go on a sunset drive along the water line. You know, all those things. <laughs> Here's a look at the full length yet again, past my fingertips, love to see it. Think this would be so cute with a high-waisted skinny leather belt right along the waist and then some leather strappy heeled sandals and like a rattan bag. Can you see it? Oh, that would be so precious. Okay. On to the set I found. This is a bright color compared to the types of clothing I typically gravitate towards, but I think it's really fun. We have these shorts. They're high-waisted and they have like an elastic waistband, so they seem comfy. And then this oversized pink shirt to go with it. The material is almost like sea sucker material. That's what it's called, right? But instead of being perfect squares, it has like I don't even know how to describe this material. I'm sure there's a word for it, but I thought it was really, really fun. And <laughs> can't wait to try it because it's definitely, yet again, something that is outside of my comfort zone in terms of color, but could really be fun. So let's see. It's time for your comments again, because this is another thing that pushing, pushing my comfort zones, but I think it is so fun. It's so comfy. We have these little, high-waisted pink shorts and this I think could be tucked like this or what would be precious is wearing this over a swimsuit and just wearing this open over your swim top I think that would be such a fun look for summer and it's very lightweight and kind of like retro feeling I'll show you the full look in the mirror have you ever seen me in hot pink <laughs> here's the full body for your thoughts let me know I will be looking out for them I think it's really fun. Let me know. I found a pair of shorts. So what we have left is shorts and pajamas and loungewear. And I'm really excited to try these because they look super flattering, almost like a skirt shape to wear they're extra relaxed around the leg, which is hard to find and then kind of more fitted around the waist. But this like nudie pink material I think is really fun and would look really good with any white top. Shorts are hard but we'll see. Okay, these are fun, cause it's a total skirt vibe with like, without the skirt being completely in the front. They're very high-waisted and they're very, very comfortable. It's like wearing a skirt, but feeling like you're not gonna flash everybody. So I think it's a win-win. Like if you didn't know, when you kind of think this is a skirt, but bam, there's legs. <laughs> For your consideration, what do we think? Yet again, I will be consulting the comments down below. I think it's really fun and I don't have anything in this color. Okay, you know how much I love crewnecks. I need to stop buying them. I need to stop buying. <laughs> it says wellness, invest in your happiness. 
and I got it in a size two and it still looks very comfy cozy. Slight, slight, slight balloon sleeves around the wrist. I just, oh, I love things like this. Great for lounging, great for throwing on on top of your workout clothes if you're going to or from a workout. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. I think I have to keep another crew neck. <laughs> This is Terry on the inside, which is this material almost kind of like woven. And typically Terry is a stiffer material, but this Terry feels like it's been washed so many times. I've never felt a Terry material that is this like malleable and soft. Really love it. Love how oversized it is. I'm still wearing these shorts, but this is a size two, like I said. So I'm impressed with the fit. I think it would be so stinking cute with lounge shorts, leggings, bike shorts, just anything comfy cozy. I have permission to keep it right <laughs> to add to my collection of crew necks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm ending in this in case they just wanna like stay in it and wear it. I got this little spaghetti strap matching pajama set. It has this little tie in the front and it's a ribbed material. And then look how cute these shorts are. They have a little ruffle around the legs and it's a very fun charcoal gray color. I hope it fits because this is a perfect for summer having a spaghetti strap option for pajamas. Let's see, might not take it off. This is the cutest stinking little pajama set I've ever seen. And it's very lightweight and stretchy and comfortable. I'm picky about what I can actually sleep in. I can't sleep in things with like crew necks or with sleeves. I can lounge in them, but I can't sleep in them. And this is something I could actually sleep in. And it makes me feel cute. <laughs> Here's a look in the mirror. Wow, adorable. I'm really glad I tried this on last and that I've already filmed the outro so that I can just keep it on. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching and hanging out with me on a bonus Friday video. And thanks again to Misguided for working with me on this video. So I'll have everything linked, but feel free to explore their website and everything as well. I love y'all so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?